So final review of week five. And it's the Indianapolis Colts traveling to the Baltimore Ravens on Monday night football. I'll, uh, I'll struggle through this one. Um, all I needed was just the defense of the Colts just to do okay. You know, don't concede more than 20 points. One, you win the game. And two, I win both of my fantasy matchups this week. Uh, it was looking oh so good up until the fourth quarter, and then they just decided to just bend over, and Lamar Jackson had their had his way with them, um, and slapped sixteen points, took it to overtime, and uh, Lamar Jackson, um, for some reason, he can now throw the ball. Uh, never knew he had an arm, um, and uh, yeah, he uh, he found uh, Marquise Brown for it, Brown didn't even drop it this time. Got to give him credit for that. He's definitely improved. He's he's found hands. Lamar's found his arm. <laughs> And Marquise Brown's found his hands and uh, they won it in overtime, 31-25. Um, but uh, to Vic Fangio's delight, they didn't get the record. It snapped at uh, 44 games with over 100 rushing yards. But if your callback is thrown for 442 yards, then, you know, you can you can let it go. Um, I will also, ha- also have a stat uh, about Lamar Jackson, which I decided just to delete off my phone. Here we go. Uh, he had 86% uh, passing completions, which is the uh, best in the NFL history of a quarterback throwing 40 plus passes in the game. Uh, there's been over 4,017 games in the NFL in that history, and Lamar Jackson is the first one ever to do it. Um, and all I did think is he could run, but um, turns out he's actually better than I thought. But the, the, both defenses, passing wise, were poor. I mean, if Carson Wentz can throw over 400 yards as well and not get intercepted, you know it's a bad day in the office for both defenses. But um, yeah, the streak's over. So rest in peace to that. But they tied it. So there you go. But they won this one and uh, 31 25. We said earlier in the show that people have found out Patrick Mahomes, but now they've sort of, I, I actually don't know how to stop Lamar Jackson. No, I think that's a, a very valid point. From Baltimore point of view, it's a brilliant comeback. I think what it shows you is that there's there's a lot more to this Baltimore team, especially offensively. Lamar can throw the ball, and he actually throws it with real ease. I'm looking, thinking, why don't Harbaugh like, encourage him to do it more? And I think that Brad said it this season. I said it last season from a fantasy point of view. Mark Andrews is actually, for me, a top five tight end in the National Football League. You've got to use him more. And as soon as the Ravens use him, he, he's getting touchdowns. I think he got two, didn't he, on Monday Night Football. The Colts defence couldn't really cope with him. As well, like you say, uh, Marquise Hollywood-Brown w- w- was a threat. And the Colts defence, who would, would carry that team last season, just went completely missing. They were just were, it's so badly exposed in the secondary. So it was credit to Lamar for that. One positive I will give the uh, Indianapolis Colts, getting that lead in the first place, they were playing really well, but they just, they've just not got enough in the locker. So I think the receiver wise is really weak. So although they were making the catches, it's actually finishing off the drives. And I feel like that the only player that they've got that can consistently finish off drives is running back Jonathan Taylor, who I thought had a brilliant game. I thought as soon as he got the ball, I thought that that Baltimore defense just crumbled. That you, you, as soon as he got remotely into the red zone, you knew there was going to be big yardage that lead to the touchdown. But ultimately, the way they collapsed was unforgivable. And they're lucky they're in the AFC South, so they probably will finish second because they are better than, of course, the Jaguars and Texans. But that division is already over because they're not catching the Tennessee Titans. But yeah, good win from uh, the Baltimore Ravens, especially coming back like that. 